guys you can see here size is 12 by 18 inches depth is 18 inches width is 12 inches four steel rods we have at the bottom two at the top dia is 20 millimeter for upper portion also for lower portion for tension zone 12 uh, 20 mm also for compression zone we have 20 mm why they use two steel rods in upper portion in compression zone because concrete is strong in compression but it's weak in tension so therefore in tension zone we have four steel rods in compression zone we have two steel rods dia is same for both okay next guys you can see the stirrup dia is here 10 mm so this is 10 millimeter dia of steel rod for this stirrup the first stirrup is placed at the distance of 2 inches the other one is 4 inches at the distance of l by 4 okay you can see after l by 4 guys you can see we have 8 inches so the spacing is here 8 inches okay 2 times of l by 4 distance you can see hooks are bent on 190 uh, degree it should be provided on 135 degree so they did uh, a mistake in this technical terms as I told you in many videos that the stirrups should be placed alternately especially hooks this is hook so you can see this is at this side this is the opposite of this this one is also the opposite so this is very important they already did placing of stirrups properly especially in hook sides next guys here they will use two sidebars in this beam at the distance of l by 4 where we have negative bending moment but also guys they will place lapping length at this place so lapping is not allowed to provide at this place because this is at the distance of l by 4 where we have negative bending moment but uh, they will place the lapping so lapping is very dangerous especially at this place therefore lapping should be provided after l by 4 or at the distance of l by 5 you are allowed to provide and don't provide the lapping at the middle of the beam or at the center of the beam because we have positive bending moment in bottom section guys you can see this is one column that is other column so this is the uh, so the span between these two columns is about 22 feet so if this is 22 feet so the middle the center is here 11 feet so don't provide the lapping at this place they didn't used and they didn't overlap any steel rod just i'm guiding you that don't provide the lapping in the center of the beam or at the center of the rcc slab they already did properly okay so we don't have any lapping in just i'm guiding you they don't provide the lapping in bottom portion or in tension zone of the floor beam but if you require to provide so you can provide at the distance of after l by 4 what is l by 4 the total spin which is 22 feet so 22 foot feet should be divided by 4 okay so you can uh, you, you are allowed about five feet and five inches uh, five feet and six inches so that is l by four so after five feet and six inches you are allowed to provide the lapping okay but don't provide at the center next if you need the lapping so provide the lapping at the center of the compression zone in upper portion at the center you are allowed but in bottom portion in tension zone you are not allowed okay so this is very important to know about this guys you can see here <laughs> already they used lapping at this junction you can see guys there we have the drawing for this floor beam. This is beam layout plan of basement. Okay, that one is for... Let me show you for ground floor. This is beam layout plan of ground floor because this is ground floor slab, okay? So therefore this is its floor beam. You can see the column positioning, everything you can see clearly. Okay, so there we will see the details. In next video, I will guide you about the drawing, especially for floor beam, slab, etc. <laughs> and also, guys, this is very important to guide you for development length. So, development length is very important at the end of the beam, guys. 
Here, this is end of the beam, so at this place, development length is very important to provide, but they didn't provide. Okay. So those are steel fixers. Let me show you properly, everyone. Hello. What's your name? My name is Wasif. Wasif. Where are you from? Batkela. Batkela. Where I am living, so he is from Batkela. So I am also from Batkela. Look here, eh? How are you? I am fine. What's your name? Muhammad Junaid. Muhammad Junaid is a steel fixer. You can see he is binding the stirrups in this floor beam. Hello, mister. How are you? <laughs> he said it. <laughs> Don't ask anything from me. Yes, he is also a steel fixer. Yes.